Hello everyone.、Uh, today we're going to study English Nine, Unit Nine, English in the War. And now let's get to Lesson One, Getting Started. Now let's look at a picture. As you can see, V and Yoon and their friends are discussing with the teacher about English, the most important language in the world. Do you also take part in an English club? Then what do you think is special about the club? Now let's have a look at some new words. The first one we have flexible, flexible, flexibility, flexibility, simplicity, simplicity, simplify, simplify, technical turn, technical turn, dialect. Dialect. Now let's repeat it. Flexible, flexibility, simplicity, simplify, technical turn, dialect. Now let's open your book and start listening. Unit nine. English in the world. Page thirty. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Welcome to English Club. Today I'm going to do a quick quiz to check your knowledge of the English language. Question one: Is English the language which is spoken by most people in the world? Of course it is. Incorrect. Chinese is the language which is spoken by most people in the world. Question two: Does English have the largest vocabulary? Yes, with approximately five hundred thousand words and three hundred thousand technical terms. Yes, spot on. This is due to the openness of the English language. English has borrowed words from many other languages. Yeah, if there weren't so many words, it would be easier for us to master it. Ha <laughs> ha! But the simplicity of form makes English easy to learn. Many English words have been simplified over the centuries. Now, question three: Who can tell me an English word that can operate as a noun, a verb, and an adjective? I think the word subject can operate as noun, verb, and adjective. Excellent! In English, the same words can operate as many parts of speech. That's due to its flexibility. Question four. What is the longest word in English which has only one vowel? Is it length? No, I think it's strength. That's right, V. Lastly, question five: Who can tell me at least three varieties of English? American English, Australian English, and、uh, yes, Indian English. Activity one. Read the conversation again and find the nouns of the adjectives, simple and flexible. As you can see, it's simplicity and flexibility. Simple, simplicity, flexible, flexibility. Now let's repeat it. Simple, simplicity, flexible. Flexibility. Now you have to remember, nouns are often formed by adding suffixes to adjectives. Two suffixes which are often added to adjectives to form nouns are ness and it. For instance, open we have openness, and similar to similarity. Activity B. Convert these adjectives into nouns. You may use a dictionary. Sad, sadness. Now let's continue. Dark, stupid, popular, happy, punctual. And here are the nouns. Sad. We got sadness. Dark, and the noun is darkness. Stupid, and the noun is stupidity. Popular has the noun popularity, 
Happy has the noun of happiness, and punctual, we have punctuality. Let's repeat after me. Darkness, stupidity, popularity, happiness, punctuality. Now, in the next exercise, you are going to give me the noun to these adjectives. Careful, sick, able, lazy, sad, sensitive, great, electric, equal. Here are the answers: careful, carefulness, sick, sickness, able, ability, lazy, laziness, sad, sadness, sensitive, sensitivity, great, greatness, electric, electricity, equal, equality. Next, we're going to have a look at exercise C. Read the conversation again and choose the correct answers. Question number one: Which language is most spoken as the first language in the world? A. English. B. Chinese. C. Vietnamese. Question number two: English has about words. And technical terms: A, five hundred thousand; B, three hundred thousand; C, eight hundred thousand. Question number three: The a form makes English easy to learn: A, simplicity; B, flexibility; C, openness. Question number four. One of the reasons why the vocabulary of English is open is that it has a a lot of words, b many varieties, c borrow many words. Question number five: Some English verbs are their nouns or adjectives. A very different from b the same as c changes according to. Now stop the video and do the exercise. Here are the answers: one, B Chinese. Two, English has about eight hundred words and technical terms. Three, the simplicity of form make makes English easy to learn. Four, one of the reason why the vocabulary of English is open is that it has. Borrow many words. Five. Some English verbs are the same as their nouns or adjectives. Right. Let's move to exercise number two. Match the words or phrases in column A with the definitions in column B. In in column A, we have one first language, two. Second language, three, official language, four, accent, five, dialect. Now you will have some time to do this exercise. Stop the video if you want. Now let's correct. Number one, first language, is the language that you learn to speak from birth. So one is C. Number two, second language is a language that you learn to speak well and that you use for work or at school, but that but that is not the language you learn first at home. Number three, official language. This language is generally used in the government, public administration. Wall and the education system. Number four, accent. Accent is a way of pronouncing the words of a language that shows which country or area a person comes from. Number five, dialect, original form of a language in which some words and grammar differ slightly from the standard form 
of the same language. And that is the end of exercise two. Now we're going to get to exercise three. Match the beginning of each sentence from one to six to its ending from A to F. You may stop the video if you want to have a look at all the headings. Great. Now let's get to the answers. In column one, English is used as a language in at least seventy-five countries around the world. So one is F. What about number two? Two is C. The British Council estimates that about three hundred and seventy-five million people speak English regularly as a second language. Number three is A. At present, over a billion people are learning English worldwide. Number four is B. Immigration, new technologies, popular culture. And even war have all contributed to the growth of English. Next, number five is E. Now's the day. There are many varieties of English all over the world, such as British English, American English, Australian English, Indian English, etc. Number six, D. There are many differences in accents and dialects between varieties of English, though all can be understood more or less by speakers of other varieties. So let's revise the answers. So one is F, two is C, three is A, four is B, five is E, and six is D. Next up in exercise four, you are going to work in pairs. Ask and answer questions about English language using the information from exercise three. For example, you can use questions like, "How many countries around the world use English as their first language?" And that is the end of today's lesson. Your homework will be one: learn by heart the new words, and two: redo the act in exercise one B. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.